So I can't say that I saw this coming, but I also can't say that I didn't see this coming because time and time again, it keeps happening. Because my husband, y'all, he is a truck driver. If you don't know, if you're new to my channel. So he drives over the road now that he got laid off with because he's owner operator. He got laid off with the company he was leased to. Well, he's still leased to that company, but they are reworking contracts with FedEx to try to get back with FedEx. So anyway, long story short, he called me the other day and he said, I tried to go get me some chicken tenders from Popeye's. And they were $21, $21 just for a chicken tender meal, y'all. He said he had to walk out, go across the street to the grocery store, grab him something to make some sandwiches with in his truck. That's insane. So things are changing. So in an effort for this not to be a long video and get you the news you can use, y'all, I like eating at Popeye's. I honestly do like Popeye's food, but lately it's hard to eat out anywhere because it costs too much. Everything has gone up, okay? So the story reads, oh, first of all, y'all know what I'm about to ask you to do, right? Hit that like button for you, girl. Subscribe to the channel, become one of my cousins, share the video out so more people will see this, especially to those mook bongers, because I used to be a mook bonger where I would sit and eat on TV, well, in front of the camera, and Popeye's was one of my joints. But y'all, things about to change, and a lot of people are about to lose their jobs, okay? <sighs> Major fast food chain franchise and Chick-fil-A rival, which I didn't know that they were a rival to Chick-fil-A. But y'all, Popeye's has filed for bankruptcy with 19 restaurants at risk in this retail ice age is what they're calling. I also didn't realize that the franchise leader died in 2022 it didn't say why but it says the sudden death of the franchise leader and the ensuing financial situation is said to be the driving factor behind the Popeye's franchise recent bankruptcy filing y'all more restaurants are going to be doing this People cannot pay these high prices and they can't afford to stay at the price that they are because they're paying more for food. And for those of you who aren't familiar with what a Popeye's is because you don't have one in your area, it's a fast food establishment which specializes in Cajun flavors and Louisiana inspired dishes. Has been a longtime competitor to Chick-fil-A. I still don't see that but anyway Popeyes which is operated on the restaurant brands international is just one of many franchises to struggle amid a tense post-pandemic economy and heightening inflation since the beginning of 2023 two other Burger King franchises under the same restaurant brands international also succumbed to bankruptcy so two Burger Kings also filed for bankruptcy you guys due to losses in revenue and traffic. So again, the founder of the franchise passed away in May of 2022. And ever since then, they have been struggling. The Popeye's locations had great success under uh, his management who founded Premier Cajun Kings in 2018. The franchise began with just six Popeye's locations in Alabama, but quickly added 24 more stores across Alabama, Georgia, and Tennessee. And I can attest in South Carolina too. And it's a few here in North Carolina, but not as many. In 2020 and 2021, the company employed roughly 500 people and brought in more than 30 million in annual sales. Premier Cajun Kings did what they could in an attempt to salvage the business. The franchise closed 10 stores in hopes to reduce their losses and a landlord evicted one other location. They wasn't even paying a rent, y'all. They couldn't even pay their rent. Now, if a business that was making millions 
could not pay their rent with the economy being what it is, inflation, yada, yada, yada. Yo, what is there for us? For those people who are low income or even middle class struggling now, it is insane. They could not pay their rent and got evicted. It said the franchise closed 10 stores in hopes of reducing the losses and a landlord evicted one other location. Insane. But it wasn't enough to save the remaining 19 stores facing increased pressures from landlords, vendors, and its secured lender. They couldn't even pay their debt, y'all. The debtor has no choice but to seek relief in this court in order to reorganize its business in Chapter 11, the fouling added. While the news is sure to disappoint many fried chicken fans in the long run, the restaurant has offered a bit of good news in the meantime. Let's see what that is. So it says that Premier Cajun Kings will attempt to continue operations of the remaining Popeye's locations as the bankruptcy proceeding goes on. The franchise is also initiating proceedings to have a future buyer sign a new franchise agreement. So basically, they're going to try to keep the remaining ones open now. 19 of them closing, but they're trying to keep the remaining ones open. But what if they don't find a buyer, y'all? You could not be seeing a Popeye's in your area. And right now, I can't afford them anyway. So, I mean, I, I hate to see them go because I, I don't want any business to close because I was a business owner and I had to close in 2008 when everything was collapsing around us. But, um, yeah, this is sad. Y'all, leave some comments down below. Let me know what you think of this story. And I will see you guys in the next video. I love you, but God loves you more. He created only when you be the best you that you can be. And when you are, go out and spread God's love. Do you know I'm looking and I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on I put my feet up and we just sing along And I can't help but feeling just loving this moment Can we say